Today, we're going to need pencils, erasers, a marker, anything that's black would work, and some crayons, and a ruler. We're gonna use that later. So, this is Adney, and we have Nikki. She's my co-artist today. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to do, let's move some of this stuff. We're going to do a frame right around your edge. And it's going to be like a wiggly line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just give it about a finger width all the way around. Now the other thing we're going to do is a flower. Try to think of a flower that's as big as your hand. So we're going to start with the center. So the center, we're going to do a spiral. It's going to start right here. Think of like the middle of your paper. And it's going to have a nice big spiral. That's gonna be your, so like right our center, yep. Yeah. Like Perfect, okay. Now we're going to do the petals. The petals are going to go around and they're like U's. They look like really, really big U's. So if you do one petal, it's going to look like an upside down U. And then right here at the end, you're going to connect the next one, okay? Like that for one. Yeah, that's perfect. And then do as many as you can fit. All right, now we're going to do the stem, and I want you to choose either one side or the other, it doesn't matter, but choose in the middle of two of your uh, petals. You're going to have the stem come down with a curved line almost to the bottom of your page. Yeah. Exactly, okay. Then we're going to do our leaves. Our leaves are going to be going out, I'm back in with a little line in the middle, just like that. And then maybe can I add another one? Yeah, you can add another one. Let's let's add another one on this side. That. Perfect. Cute. Now we're going to pencils done. We're going to use yeah, let's put it over here. <laughs> and then we're going to grab our marker and we're going to trace over everything we have done. So only the lines with the pencils that we have already done. Ready? All right, let's go. Now, this is a good time. If there's any pencil lines you don't wanna keep, you can go back and erase any lines that you don't like to see. Okay, so now what I wanna do so you're going to choose, get your pencil again, and you're going to choose a spot that's going to be the focal point of your paper, of your artwork today. So I think I want mine right here, and I'll explain what that means. But right now, you want to try to choose something, I mean a, a spot. You're going to choose a spot that you want all of the lines that we're making to go to. So choose okay. one spot. Yep, and then what I want you to do is grab your ruler, make sure you're on that dot, and we're going to lines from we're going to do lines from the border on the top all the way to the border of the bottom. And then make sure you stay on that dot and you're going to do another one. And Nikki, I'll give you my ruler in just a second. I want you to see what the final product is going to be. So as long as you stay on that dot. And your lines can be, and the lines can be random, right? Yeah, there is no, no specific cut. As long as you're on the dot, doesn't really matter how many lines you do. I would do, you know, as many to have good portions like that. So now, six, all of your lines are going to go to that dot that you made. Then 
There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, pencils are done. Rulers are done. Grab our marker again. Oh, we're doing that too? Yep. And we're going to do our lines with the marker. Now you have a ruler, so just go slow and try to stay over that line. If you need to take a break, that's fine. Take a break. And you can move your paper if you think that's going to be helpful. You can move your paper as you need it. What we're doing is that we're doing complementary colors. So yeah. she shows blue and orange. Blue and orange. I'm mm -hmm. sure seeing reds and greens. And what we want to do is color inside all of these sections with the different shade of the yeah, color yeah. you chose. Yeah. So, what color are you gonna do your flower? My flower, um, I'm gonna do orange. Orange, okay, so I'm gonna do a red flower. So what you're gonna do is that you're going to start with one of the reds and every time that you get to the end of, her, of your flower, this section here, for example, is going to have that one red or in your case it's going to be orange but it's going to stop on that section there it's not going to keep going because this here is going to have our complementary our green color on the outside so i'm going to make my leaf the same color as my flower yeah, so, I'll make this leaf the same color. Yeah, so I'm going to make my leaves with my warm colors. And then you want to make sure that you're coloring in, that you're not leaving any white, that your color is nice and even. And get as many mm -hmm. of those white spots as you can. Once you're doing crayon, sometimes it gets a little messy. Don't rub it. You can go like this on your table. Those little things will come off if you guys want to do that. And then that way you're not smearing the crayon all over your paper. All right, so I'm going to get a different color of my red. So I use this one. I'm going to do a different color for this slice. Oh, that's pretty similar. Huh? Well, let me see if I can get a different one. This one that's a little darker. Yeah, there we go. If you have a hard time staying in your lines, one of the things that you can do is outline where you're going to be drawing, where you're going to be coloring. Going to outline where you're going to be coloring, and then you can color inside of that. But if you outline the shape, it's a little bit better, it's a little bit easier to stay within your lines. We're going to do the same thing that we did inside, outside. We're going to get our cool colors now. So I'm going to use green. You're I'm going to use, use blue. Blue. And we're going to do the outside the same way we did the inside of the flower. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's, let's talk about this. So, <laughs> no, let's talk about this. This is good. So we talked about earlier how one slice, this is what happens. <laughs> There's no such things as mistakes, just um, happy accidents. Happy accidents. This, ha this is a happy accident. She wanted this one to be a dark blue, not a light blue, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. So, <laughs> so this is one slice here. So the blue should be the same. So what she's doing now, she's going to go over that dark blue over here too. Yeah. And what I would do is that light blue, do it under here. So it's the same shade. 
So if you oh, do the blue okay. here, no, I, then I, they're I gonna look the same. Yep, you see? So we are done. What do you think? Yeah. You like it? I, yeah. I think both of ours turned out really well. So we talked about lots and lots of new things today. We talked about having a focal point on your picture, warm and cool colors. Where's your cool color? Where's your warm color? What about complementary colors? So both of them. <laughs> red and green are complementary colors. Orange and blue are complementary colors. Orange and colors. blue are complementary colors. And complementary colors are colors that are opposite to one another on the color wheel. This is like a color wheel. You have your yellow and your purple across from each other, your reds and your greens your blues orange. and your orange. So I wanted to show you a different way that you can still create this optical illusion with a focal point, but only using two colors. So for this example, I only used a yellow and a purple. And with those two colors, we created this optical illusion where every single slice, your colors switch. So on side of this slice, my warm color, my yellow, is inside of the flower with the complementary purple outside of the flower. But when we went to this slice, we switched it up. So now my yellow is outside, and this one is inside, this one is outside. So every slice gets to switch, and that makes it to where this optical illusion it has a lot of movement, that focal point is still there and it's easy to do and you only need two colors to do it. So go have fun. Good work, everybody. Try it at home. Remember to pause the video anytime you need it. Good job. See you next time.